What's up, freaks? It's Steve Eck from Peak Physique Personal Training Bootcamp and Boxing. This is Steve Says, episode number 67. It says up there in the headlines, happiness. Happiness. You're going to learn all about happiness from me. Who else better to teach you about happiness than here on Steve Says and happiness? How it will lead you to failure. And you're probably like, what? Steve has really lost his fucking mind now, right? Well, we're going to talk about why. It's going to pull you up here on the second screen. Just make sure we're good. We're up and running. Any questions, comments, anything, put them down there below. Let's talk about it. So, happiness, right? Well, anyway, you know what Steve says. Some people will hate, but most can relate. We are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. It's a live show every single week. Today, it's all about happiness. In a way, in a way. That's not really what it's about, but we're going to get to that in a second. Are you happy? But, well, I'm here to tell you, you really shouldn't be, and I'm going to explain why. Are you wondering why you're stuck in the same place at work, in your family, in life in general? And are you operating for success in all areas of life? We're going to talk about this on Steve Says. You know Steve Says is a live show on how to have a no-excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy obstacles preventing your success in your health, your family, your finances... So you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms. Let's do this. This is our unique perspective on health, fitness, nutrition, life, motivation, personal development. It's all about adapting and overcoming, trusting the process, and of course, making no excuses. Let's do this. So what are we really, really going to be talking about? We are going to be talking about happiness and how happiness is going to lead to your failure. We're going to get to that in a minute. You'll have to wait for that for a second. But first, I want to talk about a word that's going around the internet a lot lately. It's a, a new fancy word about what you need to be doing for success in your life. And we're going to talk about that, but we're going to talk about the, the real version of that word. So what we're talking about today is something that's steadfast adherence to the same principles or course or form over time. We're going to talk about something that's in agreement or harmony or compatibility, especially uniformity among the parts of a complex thing. This, we're getting to a word. You know we like to play these word games. We're talking about something that is the condition or holding together and retaining form, solidity and firmness. Something that is stable, steadiness, uniformity, harmony, constancy, regularity. What's the word we're looking for? Well... The word that goes around the internet nowadays, we're going to use a different word for it, but it's everywhere. It's you, they, they say you have to be congruent. You have to be congruent. That's like the cool word nowadays, congruency, right? Just making sure we're up there so I can see any comments that you have here. All right, we are good. We are all set. So congruence is the, the, the secret Word of the day, right? Congruence. Everyone tells you, you need to be congruent. You need to be congruent, congruent. It's like the fancy word. All congruence means, really, is consistency. Being consistent. And that's what we're going to break down, and we're going to go in depth into it. You know only ways that Steve Says can do. You won't find this kind of stuff anywhere else. You're not going to learn this shit in school. So I just told you what consistency was. It's congruence, it's regularity, it's constancy, it's it's harmony, it's uniformity, it's steadiness, it's stability, firmness, whatever you want to call it. What are the opposites of consistency or congruence? We're going to use the word consistency the rest of the day because congruence is just too a little too fancy for Steve Says. It's basically consistency. It's a fancy way of saying consistency that you see out there on the internet from all the gurus. And sure, it's a cool word, but we're just going to stick bare bones and call it consistency today, all right? So what's the opposites of consistency? It's erraticism, it's in being incongruent, it's inconsistency, irregularity, variation. Now those things, both think about it, both sides of those can be good or bad. We know, on Steve Says, everything is not always as it seems. You can't just hear the word consistency and think all of a sudden that that means something positive. It could mean something positive or negative. It's all about how you, how you frame it in your head. Right? Consistency can be good or it can be bad. So the Steve Says definition of consistency is basically if you're talking about positive or negative. That it's not necessarily a good thing. It's more of a way of life. But let's talk about consistency in a good way. Right? 
It's about trusting the process that, okay, today maybe I'm not going to see some change. Today things are not going to, I'm not going to hit my goal. But in the future, if I stay consistent over time, then I'm going to, I'm going to figure this shit out. I'm going to make this shit happen. Trusting the freaking process. Consistency is a lifestyle. So in general, when we're using the word consistency, because we're Steve says, and we are positive motherfuckers, we're going to assume we're talking about from a positive side. Obviously, if you consistently eat shit, you're going to get, that's not positive. You're not going to get good results, right? So consistency and inconsistent basically are the same thing, if you think about it. Because inconsistent is consistently doing bad things. Consistent, you know what I mean? It makes sense in my fucking head. So it depends if it's positive or negative. So it's really the same thing. Be, be, it's, you know, behaviors and emotions. You could also say be, being consistent in the way you act, the way you think. The way you react to things. That's also consistency. So don't think it just means that, okay, consistency means I have a schedule and a calendar or I'm going to be consistent with eating healthy every day. I'm going to be consistent with exercise every day. It goes a step further than that. Being consistent with who you are all the time. Not just when you feel like it. Not when you lose control and your emotions are, are all over the place and using as an excuse that you're just emotional. That is inconsistent. That is irregular. That's the negative. It's inconsistent, but it's consistently fucked up is what it is. So it's still, I said, consistency and inconsistency, really, if you think about it, is the same thing. And so, someone, someone told me one day, they're like, oh, you're so lucky. You can just eat whatever you want to eat because you're just in fairly decent shape. You're just so lucky you can eat whatever the fuck you want to eat. It's like, motherfucker, I can't eat whatever I want to eat. Well, I probably can. I can eat whatever I want to eat because I don't eat whatever I want to eat. Because it's been consistently consistent that way for over 25 freaking years of training hard, of eating healthy. No excuses of, oh, I'm gone for, I'm going away for a week. I'm going to be traveling for a certain amount of time. So I'm just going to go into this hole and be like, oh, I've been off track for the last month. It hasn't happened. 25 years we're talking. 25 years, over two decades of consistency, of not missing a workout more than two days in a row, of not eating unhealthy for, I don't even know, more than one day in a row. Never two days in a row of even eating shit. That's what consistency is. No, no, there's no fucking luck about it. It's called consistency and discipline. That's it. That's all there is to it. There's no luck about it. When, when, when did I miss workouts? When I was in the Marine Corps, in boot camp, there's a drill you had to, on this wire, a whole long thing, you had to carry someone, like, double your weight across these wires, and on one arm, while you're carrying, you couldn't touch parts of the red, or it was considered an explosion, whatever. So I ended up getting a hernia, right, in boot camp. About seven months later, when I was finally at my duty station in Japan, it was just bulging out, bulging out, like the intestines pushing through the hole in the muscle. So they decided, perfect, we're going to send them out to some island out there in Japan, we could get our intern, Navy, Navy, Navy guys that are practicing to use them as basically a fucking Marine Corps cadaver is what they use on me and practice me. It's still fucked up to this day, 20 something years later. But they did that. That's probably the only time I missed more than two real days of working out in a row in the last 25 years. And that was in 1998. 1998 in Japan. And even then, I'm in the hospital the next day after the surgery, all fucked up. I took the, you know, a travel case of a toothbrush, right? Where you break it apart, those little plastic tube, and it breaks in half. You put the toothbrush in, you put the other piece of the travel case. I had to take those two pieces of the case. I'm in the bed, fucked up, can't even move or walk, because they fucked me up. They just, it was not like a hernia surgery. I don't know what they did. It, I couldn't even move or walk. You couldn't move. You couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. You couldn't even breathe. I'm sitting there in the bed, bench pressing these empty, literally, think about it. They're like one ounce each. Bench pressing them, trying to get my workout in. Bicep curling, trying to get it in, just because of the law of consistency, the law of having discipline, of being congruent with who you are. It's just who you are. No matter what the situation, you are who you are, and you need to be consistent with who you are. So if you're a, a fucking asshole, don't pretend you're not. If you're a fucking psychopath, don't pretend you're not. Just be a fucking asshole all the time and just accept it. Don't be a fake motherfucker. You know, you're... The, the, the opposite of consistency and, you know, on the negative side is that, that it's just bad. It's, it's a bunch of bad habits. You could consistently have bad habits, negative habits. Leaders, 
who I try to always work on leadership, leaders need to be consistent in leading because people are following you. And you need to be consistent on as a leader, always still following other people. Consistent in your thoughts, consistent in your actions, consistent in your fucking emotions. You can't one day be saying you're a Yankee fan and the next day say that you're a Mets fan. It doesn't work that way. One day you can't tell me I'm the greatest person in the world. The next day tell me I'm an asshole because of something some other outside circumstance. It doesn't work. That's not consistent. That's being emotional fucking wreck. A roller coaster. You need consistent communication. You need to consistently talk to the people in your your sector consistent regularly. Or else you're just a mess. You're just causing chaos. You're just causing commotion. You're causing fucking drama. You're causing bullshit. That's what inconsistency does. Irregularity does. Or you could say consistent bullshit. Consistent drama, consistent negativity, but I'd rather you be consistent drama or consistent negativity than this, because that's just a fucking Texas tornado. That's just a, a roller coaster of a mess, you know. And you need you need to be thinking about it. Consistency is is the long haul. And again, in our way of saying, in our perspective of consistency, we're thinking of it as in a good thing. We're not talking about. The, the, the people out there who are consistently doing bad things. We're talking about consistently good. You need to be in for the long haul, the long game. Think marathon, not sprint. You, you, can't, you can't just be who you are once in a while and then two seconds later flip the switch and now you're someone completely different with a complete set of values and thoughts, a complete different character. You got to be consistently consistent in your character, consistent in your values, in your generosity, in your leadership, in your communication. You need to be consistent across the fucking board. Or else you're just a fake motherfucker, is what you are. You're just fake. You're a freak, a phony, a fraud. So think about it. At least be consistent asshole. Be consistent psycho. Be consistent whatever is better than non-stop flip-flopping one day, you, one day you're supporting Burger King. The next day you're supporting fucking McDonald's. Which one is it? It's called being inconsistent, irregular, erratic. Borderline, that kind of flip-flopping. You know, flip-flop, flip-flop, flip-flop. That's, that's it. inconsistent in a negative way, you know? That's not even consistent bad. Inconsistent is even worse than consistent negative. You know what I mean? Because at least... That's what it is. You know what it is. A spade is a fucking spade. Not a fake flip flop fake ass motherfucker. Disgusting. Disgusting. Disgusting behavior. You need to be consistent with who you are and how you act. In all areas, you need to be consistent on your character. You can't just keep flip flopping. You know, you, you can't believe in one thing one day and then completely against it the next day just because your own bullshit stories you tell yourself in your head. Consistency with everything that we just mentioned in your character, your values, your generosity, your leadership, your communication. If you're consistent across the board and not erratic, roller coaster, psychotic motherfucker, then that consistency of good, not evil, consistency is going to build trust, build respect, build likability, and demonstrate over time. It's it's going to be it just compounds over time. We were saying think marathon, not freaking sprint. Think the what's that the race the t- race of the the, the, the turtle and the something, turtle and the rabbit, tortoise and the hare, whatever. Think marathon. Think long term. Consistency com- compounds over time. Stacking up on top of each other. Consistent, 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 consistent. Driving forward. You can't be a Mets fan one day. And a Yankees fan the next day. You just can't do it. It doesn't work that way. You can't believe one thing one day and then go against it the next day. Like you see fake ass fucking... Politicians, I'm not much into that stuff. You just see it. Flip-flop according to what serves them best that day. Don't be a flip-flopping politician like motherfucker. Don't be that person. Too much of it out that you see it. Some of these stupid social medias all the time. Like, And this goes back to last week, which we talked about the L word, loyalty. There's a di- it, it, it's, they're very connected, as you, you might not even realize it. Loyalty and consistency. Because loyalty is like, okay... Like, you're loyal to something, and two seconds later, it's the worst thing in the world. That's not consistent, that's erratic, that's borderline psychotic behavior, almost, if you think about it. So, 
demonstrate over time, compounding, it's a compound effect over time, stacking consistency on top of each other. That's power. That's power. That's, that's when you have growth and development and fucking results and success. Like, look at people who win the lottery, right? And now we're going to get into the why happiness is fucking fail, going to lead to failure. Because you have the peaks and the valleys, right? You get so happy, you win the lottery. Like, look at, look at all the people that win the lottery and they're bankrupt like a year later. Because they're so fucking happy and fucking high and the, the, the endorphins and all this other bullshit and, and dopamine hits. Look at Facebook. So, but, all right, back to the lottery. They win the lottery, right? They're so happy. They're so, it's they won millions, hundreds of millions of dollars and a year later they're declaring bankruptcy. Because that happiness, that happiness clouds your fucking, it, it, it clouds your vision, clouds your judgment, clouds your decision making. You make erratic decisions because you're not consistent. You can't get happy. You can't get too happy. And you also can't get too down. So think about that roller coaster, those peaks, happiness, those valleys, sadness, depression, poor fucking me, boo fucking who, sob fucking story. You got to cut the top and cut the bottom and remain in that middle ground all the time. That's consistency. That's power. That's fucking discipline. That's success. That's results. That's longevity. That's the difference between surviving and thriving. If you could stay in that middle ground. Yeah, you can get happy. The second you go overboard with that, all that's going to do is get you complacent, make some bad decisions. Same thing when you're down too low. You get down too low. Stay in that middle ground. You can't eat healthy. Think about consistency. You can't eat healthy for one day or work out for one day or lose one pound and then be all so happy I could just now be complacent and take a break because I'm just so happy. Oh my God, I did this. Now let me go celebrate. Guess what? You're going to fucking crash. That's why you're on that non-stop roller coaster emotionally, freaking physically, financially because you lack consistency or congruency. You're, you're not following who you really are. Success, weight loss, promotions at work, finances, even your happiness. That's why I say happiness. You get so happy and so high. Look at people on Facebook. They'll start, they'll start dating someone. They meet someone. They meet them for one time. And they're already talking about fucking marriage and children and putting little heart symbols and little faces on fucking things that first graders do, right? All over the faces and little ears and heart ears and all kinds of fucking bullshit. And then what happens? A week later, changing my relationship status to single. Like, don't get clouded by that, that, that judgment. That, that's fake. That very top tip of that, that roller coaster, that emotional roller coaster, that physical, mental, emotional, financial roller coaster, cut off the top, cut off the bottom. Because if you try to live in that top, you're going to live in that bottom. And you're never going to be consistent. You're never going to be stable. You're going to be an unstable, unstable, instable, whatever the hell the word is, unstable motherfucker. Flip-flopping all the time. Don't be that person. Don't be that person. Consistency means day after day, fucking week after week, month after month, decade after decade. There's no luck to it. You're not, you're not lucky because you can eat whatever you want. You can eat whatever you want because you're cons consistent in not eating whatever you want for decades. That's why you can eat whatever you want. Zero luck involved. Zero. So, I'm not saying to be satisfied. I'm not saying to always be satisfied. I'm not saying never be satisfied. I'm saying always be satisfied, but never be satisfied. That's going to keep you in that middle ground. There's high end to the middle ground. There's a lower end. Sure, you're going to have your up and downs within the boundaries of that. But you're never going to go too high. You're never going to go too low. Stay within there. Never get too high. Never get too low. Cut the peaks and the valleys. Cut them. Be ready and prepared for those highs and lows. Recognize when you're losing it. When you're losing it. Oh my God, I'm, I'm going to crash and burn. And cut it off. Cut off that valley. Recognize you're getting too high. And you know you're going to start making some bad decisions because you think it's just so fucking great. And cut that high. Be ready for it. Be prepared for it. Embrace it. Cut it off. Remain consistent. Because the high can cloud your vision just as much as the low. Complacency will, will, will happen at the high just as much as it happens in the low. And in the Marine Corps we say complacency kills. You end up overreacting when something's too high. You end up overreacting when something's too low. They're both equally as dangerous. Being too happy. Being too sad. Equally as dangerous. Being too excited. Being too pissed off. Equally as dangerous. So that's why happiness, that extreme happiness... It's going to lead to failure because you're not thinking. You're not thinking correct. You're complacent. Your mind needs to stay stable and consistent. 
The way you deal with people, the way you react, the way you act when you're happy and sad and mad and erratic and irrational and all this other stuff. That's the, that's the high and that's the low. Cut that shit out. People are not going to want to follow you. People are not going to respect you. People are not going to be influenced by you. You're not going to be a role model to your kids, your people around you, your peers. You're not going to be a leader to the people around you. You're not going to be a leader to the people even that are leading you. So never be satisfied, but always be satisfied. Good bats. Good, good thoughts. Bad thoughts. Good days. Bad days. Fucking Jekyll and Hyde. Whatever the hell the Hyde and Jekyll, Heckle and Jog, whatever the fuck that name is. Cut those two people out. Cut those two people out. Consistency is what is going to get the job done over the long haul. Leading your team. Leading your family. Leading your friends. Leading the people around you. Leading your kids. Being a role model to your kids. Don't be so happy over the top. Don't be so mad and scared and afraid with anxiety. Don't be too excited. Don't be too depressed. It will make, it will make you miss so many important details if you go on that high or that low too much. If you don't remain consistent. Maintaining control all the time. If you know, if you notice you're losing control on a regular basis, you need to stop, think, and fucking just cut out those peaks and those valleys and remain consistent in everything you do. So you see, consistency is a lot more. We're not just saying, have a schedule and be consistent about what time you wake up. Of course, we want to be consistent on the tangibles about exercising and eating right and waking up and getting sleep. That's consistency. Over the long run, it's going to give you results in all those areas, not just physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, just by eating right consistently, working out consistently, sleeping consistently, hydrating consistently. It's going to make you make more money. I'll tell you that. It's going to make you be in better shape, be healthier, be happier if you're consistent. But also, consistency and the intangibles. Consistency in who you fucking are. Not being that flip-flopper. That's what consistency is. That's why it's so freaking important. So, don't cloud your judgment on either side. Watch how you're reacting. When you sense that coming on, cut it short. Don't go over the top. Don't go too loud and low below, below the bottom. Right along, straight line. In the fucking sweet spot all the time, over decades. That's what it takes. Not a week, that's weak. Consistency in your eating. You think, okay, because you can eat bad foods, because I can eat bad foods, I can go eat them. That's me being inconsistent. That's not me being who I am. That's me having a weak lapse in discipline and using my, oh, I can eat whatever I want as an excuse. For having not enough discipline, not being consistent enough, and being erratic on some fucking mental, emotional, physical, fucked up, spiritual roller coaster that I refuse to go on. So, stay consistent in all areas of your life, straight across the line. You are fucking awesome, no excuses.